Hello, I'm John Ballin. I'm the Vice President of Engineering at Valmatic Valve, and I would like to welcome you to the Valmatic R&D Laboratory, where today we're going to test various check valves in our flow loop. First, I'd like to show you a little bit about the flow loop that we have in our lab. It's a water flow loop consisting of a 10,000 gallon tank and a 20 horsepower water pump that sends water through these test lines into a 400 gallon air over water tank, which we can pressurize up to 100 PSI. Today we have the flow loop configured to do side-by-side -side check valve testing, dynamic testing where we slam the check valves closed. We have a cushion swing check valve and a surge buster check valve side-by-side -side in the same kind of configuration. Mounted on the top of each valve is a pressure transducer which sends an electrical signal of the pressure back to a data acquisition system which is a PC based system which is going to record the pressures. We also monitor the pressure with a pressure gauge. We're also monitoring the flow velocity so that we can do subsequent calculations on the dynamics that are involved in the system. With that I'll get going to the testing. We're going to start the test with water flow through this side of the, of the flow line, which is the cushion swing check valve. When I turn the pump on, we're going to send water for about 10 seconds through this valve. You'll see this valve open up and water will flow into the air over water tank. Once pressure is reached, about 40 psi, the pump will automatically be tripped and then the water will be sent back rapidly to the check valve and we'll get to hear the valve close. So with that, we'll start the pump. You can see that the flow has opened the cushion swing check valve, but because of the heavy weight and lever, it is only partially open. And that was about 160 psi slam as recorded on the computer. You could see that the valve closed violently, causing the entire pipeline to shake. Now we're going to switch the system over to test the surge buster check valve. I'm going to drain the tank. And now we're going to switch the flow from the cushion swing check line to the surge buster line. So now we're going to have the flow from the pump going through the surge buster check valve. We'll be able to see that valve open up and again fill the tank up to the exact same pressure. Let's start the pump. The same flow rate takes the surge buster check valve to its full open position. And there we have silent closure of the surge buster check valve. This test demonstrates the superior non-slam characteristics of the Valmatic surge buster check valve as opposed to the traditional air cushion lever and weight check valve. 